these kinds of inventions appeal to me because I like good outcomes. I want my patients to do well. I want their vision to come back fast. I want them to recover as fast as they can. I want them to have no pain. So all these kinds of ideas promote that. I've always been interested in helping people see better. Of course, that's why I'm an ophthalmologist. But specifically, I like good results or great results. So I want patients' vision to be 20-20. So, so I do a, a lot of LASIK eye surgery, and LASIK works great for correcting the vision for distance. But standard LASIK doesn't really do anything for near vision. It's not really a consideration at all if you're 20 or 30, but as I rolled into my 40s, I realized that I'd quickly start to need reading glasses for anything up close or arm's length. And so, so one of the thoughts I had, well, wouldn't it be great if we could use LASIK to not only correct distance vision, but use it to correct near vision as well? So you could delay or maybe even eliminate the need for reading glasses as you got older. Uh, there was some research out of Europe uh, talking about doing a, a technique where you purposely overcorrected a patient's eye with laser and then corrected it back to normal. And that would result in a uh, ability to not only see distance but help enhance the reading vision. And the, and the reason why it does that, if you look into it, is it creates a, a multifocal cornea. It creates a, a cornea with many different focal points. So not only does it have a central focal point, but the periphery has more of a near focal point. Um, so I started doing that technique here at Wake Forest where we would, would use two different lasers, a, a near-sided laser and a far-sided laser, overlap them to create this multifocal effect. Um, I've been doing research on that for the past couple years and realized that wouldn't it be even better if we could just do this all in one combined laser. And so that's what we're working on right now. And, and it's this idea of Presby LASIK with a single card is what we call it. Right now, every time we, we use the laser, we have to use a card to run it, almost like a credit card. You just put it in the machine. So instead of using two different cards, a nearsighted and a farsighted overlapping, my idea is to combine them into one card that you use to correct both distance and near all in one fell swoop. One of the problems we have with the two card technique is there's some downtime in between the two eyes. So the laser has to calibrate itself and test itself in between the, the cards. And that can induce some drying and some unpredictability in the results. So the idea of coming up with a, a, a laser ablation profile that's the summation of those two cards in one would eliminate that error. So the surgeons out there right now who are using two cards, it would appeal to them because they could say, hey, not only am I going to get more accurate results, but I can do this with less you know, capital expense involved. So that's what we're trying to do is find a U.S. partner that would help us uh, do the study, get it FDA approved, and be able to do this you know, better, faster, cheaper, and more, and more accurate for the, the patient and for the doctor. Mm -hmm.